Shani? Oh, Geralt. Good thing you're here. What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no. Just getting ready to move. What? When? when where to? Uh, not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not only, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front beckons. I'm Kedwin bound. So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows it. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Pramathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Apparently, Olgird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor. Where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Need to talk to this Professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the Academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend. Get inside free and easy. So how are things at the Academy these days? You mean since Radovid shut it down? I mean, is it well guarded? Might be all it is. Many of the faculty fled to the far north. The braver ones stayed, but assumed the guises of tailors and laundresses. Why? Just curious. Scholars seem to have adopted mage tactics. They in the same bind? So, the Eastern Front, and then? Depends where they send me. Wherever it is, take care of yourself. Always do. So don't worry. What do you want, Geralt? Halt! By order of King Radovid, no one's allowed inside the Academy. Not even lecturers? No one means no one. See, you've become quite the stickler, Norbert. You were much kinder when I was patching you up. By the way, how's your knee? Fine. Dandy. As if no arrow ever struck it. Consider yourself a lucky man. Because if I'd not decided to operate, you'd be a cripple to the end of your days. <clears throat> Bruno? Hey? Maybe we ought to let her in. She's a decent lass. Not like to steal nothing. Hmm. All right. But alone. Which will draw too much attention. I'd rather not get shite from the captain on his account. Here's what we'll do. I'll go in, then help you sneak in around the back. How? Don't know, but I'll figure something out. Usually aren't nearly as many guards on the riverside. Agreed. All right. Let me in.
Geralt! Psst! Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Grab the line! Where'd you get the rope? Uh, long story. But we've done well. Professor Shakeslock's house is at the end of this street. Witch hunters guard the door. Doubt I'll be able to sweet talk them. Been a huge help already, Shani. Thanks. <laughs> it was nothing. Really. You'd have done the same for me. If you wish to see me again before I go, I'll be at home. Packing will take some time yet. All right. Be seeing you. Looking for a brooding. What the flying fuck is this? Intruder! Get it! Shattered mirror. No sign of impact. Probably not an accident. Shattered by a sound from Jillian Alboco's lesser can scream. Tomes about demons. Dusty as they come. Franco? Is that you? Leave the bedpan in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shan't be eating today. Professor Shakeslock? Who the blazes? How'd you get in? Get out! I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no. Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. No one sent me. You lie. I may be blind, but I sense unclean powers better than anyone. Why do you think the witch hunters guard me like a treasure? I'm a witcher. <laughs> a mutant! Hmm. Yeah. Could be. Came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm. A witcher. Then it follows I needn't fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter O'Dim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analyzed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last, hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. 
There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunt or Odim, at times Master Mirror or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind, yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims and thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts which drive their parties to madness. Ogird signed one of these pacts with him. Brilliant deduction. But have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know his fortune soured? He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. All geared wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. Olgird and Odin. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. Pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. Olgird was to sacrifice one he loved. Odin delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgird loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgird chose and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris, his fortune restored. Why was all geared out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish. Not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Ogdim at his own game. Meaning? Ogdim wields contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree, and can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. The sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasance itself. Master.
Come on, Roach. Strange choice of locale. Guessing there's a reason for it. Wasn't me who chose it. I assumed so. But since we're here, I believe you have something for me. Fulfilled the third wish. How do I know this to be the Rose? Very well might have picked this up at the Oxenfurt Market an hour ago. Look closely at it. Got it from Iris. It was the last thing that bound her to this world. What? I think... Think she loved you. Meant this as a token of that love. She loved me? After all that's passed. Iris, what a mess we made of it all. If I'd only known then how it would end. What? What's happening? I feel as though, as though a hot iron's pierced my chest. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So glad to see everyone. How do you feel, Von Everick? A little less troubled? Lighter in the heart? Or dim? What do you want? What do you mean, what? Your soul. You forget. The pack states you can take it only once you fulfill three wishes and... And we stand together on the moon. Well, what do you know? What? No. We... We had a pact. The moon is there. There! Not here. I gave you what you wished for. Here, on the moon, our contract you fulfilled. Boss, you cheated me. I never cheat. Wait. Do not interfere, Witcher. Remember what I did to the last fool who interrupted me. 
You grant wishes, right? Grant mine and release him. He must repay his debt. Let him go, and I'll take it on. We'll call it mine. You wish to give your soul for his? No, but we can play for them. I lose, you take mine and all Geert's. But if I win, you release us both. What do you propose we play? Gwent? Don't know. Maybe we can bet on a challenge. You know I'm good at accomplishing the impossible. Seen me do it. Hmm. Very well. But we shall do this my way. What's happening? You wish to play. So let us play. I shall tell you a riddle. Solve it, and both you and Allgeard will be free. And if I don't? <laughs> then we'll all three go for a wild ride. It's what you proposed, is it not? The riddle. Let me hear it. To all things and men I appertain, and yet by some am shunned and disdained. Fondle me and ogle me till you're insane, but no blow can harm me, cause me pain. Children delight in me, elders take fright, fair maids rejoice and spin. Cry and I weep, yawn and I sleep, smile and I shall grin. What was that supposed to be? You tell me. What am I? You're going down. We shall see, my friend. You must find me before the sand in the hourglass runs out. Ready? Let's begin. <laughs> 